Hi, I'm Steve, KB3ORG, and welcome to this old ham shack. And today we have something radio related. We have a board here that allows us to take an old computer PC power supply, and you'll be able to get all the voltages in here out on this board. This particular power supply on the 12 volt rail is rated for 126 156 watts. So today we're going to try this board to see how it does powering our little TYT mobile here and see if you can use this around your shack. I think it'll be pretty handy. It puts out 12 volts, 3 volts, and 5 volts. So stay tuned and we'll show you how we did that. On YouTube for I don't know how many years now. There's been all kinds of tutorials on how you can take an old PC power supply and convert it into a you know, bench top power supply or, or even a power supply to power your radios. Uh, and usually it involves taking all these wires that come out of the back, clipping them all, um, and soldering them all together so you have, you know, you're binding all the powers together. All the 12 volts, all the 5 volts, all the 3.3 volts. And that's kind of a pain in the butt because there's also a, a sense wire in here that you have to, you know, have to do with the resistor and you have to uh, ground that out in order for the unit to power on. Well, our sponsor, BunkerStuff.com, I was doing a project for another channel and we were talking to them and they said, you know, we've got this little board and this is pretty neat. It's a little board, very thin, a uh, very small footprint. And what it does is you can take the power connector that comes out of the power supply, the main one that goes to the motherboard, and you plug it right into here. And it binds all the power for you. So you have uh, 12 volt, 5 volt, and 3.3 volt right here at your fingertips. So I've never seen this board before. I, I think I may have seen it once. Oh, and they're all fused. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just hook this thing up here, and we're going to test to see what kind of voltages come out. And then once we do that, if, if I don't see why it wouldn't work, then we're going to go and we're going to try and fire up the, the little mobile here and see if we can make some contacts with the power off of this power supply. Before we get started, let's go over the board. On the top here is the connector where the computer power supply will plug into. You have an on and off switch here. Okay, which is that's really handy because in a lot of times people who mod old power supplies from computers to be used as a bench supply, uh, they have to use the trigger wire on the power supply to turn it on. This board handles it for you with this switch. Uh, going from left to right, you've got minus 12 ground, positive 12, another ground, positive 5, yet another ground, positive 3.3 and another ground. These are all screw terminals so it's easy for you to put any spade connectors in there. Okay, and it's got four mounting holes right here and there's a power light indicator. So what we'll do now is we'll connect this up and then we'll do some tests. We have a power supply, it's plugged into an AC outlet. We have the power supply plug plugged into our board. We're going to throw the on switch and you see the power indicator light comes on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some readings and see, make sure it's putting out exactly what it's supposed to. The first connector we're going to try here is a negative 12. Let's see what that comes out to. Comes out to about uh, minus 11, negative 11. So next we'll try the plus 12 volts. 12 and a quarter plus volts, good. Next is the 5 volts. And it's putting out 5 volts, positive. And the last one is the 3.3, 3.3 volts positive. All right, so the board's doing exactly what it says it's doing. It's taking all these um, various outputs 
from the power supply and combining them all into one. And your wattage is all going to depend on your on your power supply. Let me turn this off before I start handling it. And on this particular power supply, which is a pretty old one, it's not a very highly rated one, or not highly rated, but it's not a high wattage uh, power supply. Uh, it's a 300 watt is what it says it is. And on the 12 volt rail, the max you can get is 156 watts out of this. That's not too bad for different projects that are going to require motors, uh, you prop builders out there. When we key this up, it's going to be drawing uh, 50 watts. So I want to see how this, this system should easily be able to handle that. You can see I have the board, I have the radio hooked up to the uh, positive 12 in the ground. Okay, it's all fired up, the radio is on, so we're going to give a call out there, and that's going to draw 50 amps, and we're going to see whether this thing collapses or not. KB3RG, is there any station available for a radio check? That's a little... KB3ORG, is there any station available for a radio check? We just can't seem to find anybody. Thank you, sir. I just put a new radio in at my office. I wanted to make sure I was getting out. KB3ORG, 73. That was 50 watts this was putting out. The board handled the 50 watts. It handled it on the secondary power supply, which I, I used off camera. So this is going to be great. Well, that was a very successful test. Uh, this little product, um, which I'll put a link to down below so you know where to get it. It's only seven bucks. Not bad. Um, it was very handy. Like I said, it puts out the 12 volts, puts out the 5 volts and 3.3. Now in the shack, I don't know, 3.3 volts wouldn't be too useful, but the 5 volts certainly would be for charging uh, your devices. Um, this may not be a bad device to take out the field day combined. This may not be pretty good to integrate maybe into it with some kind of a go kit. That would be interesting. Maybe that's a future project. So, that's it for today. I want to thank you for joining me for reviewing this product. Like I said, I'll put the link down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and I love showing you this because I think this is pretty useful. And if you did like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button down below. And next to it is the bell. That way you'll be notified when more videos come out. So, until next time, this is Steve, KB3ORG. And thanks for stopping by this old ham shack. This old ham shack is brought to you by BunkerStuff.com. They carry a full line of customizable and personalized items for the ham radio, storm chasing, fire, and EMS communities. Be sure to visit their website at BunkerStuff.com.